G'day guys, Mick from Uncaged in Australia again. Uh, we've been called out uh, around Westmar to um, grab a few uh, feral pigs that have been getting into some planted chickpeas. So uh, here we are. This is an example of what we do for the farmers as well as for ourselves so we know how to um, get around the place uh, and stay inside the boundary. Basically this is uh, the white line is the extent of the property. Uh, this particular uh, imagery has come from Google Earth. Uh, being a surveyor, uh, we can get some property boundaries there and overlay that on Google Earth. So uh, very good for the farmer as well. We give this to them uh, so at different scales so they can actually uh, do some planning uh, of their properties as well. So they can mark these up, um, whatever scale, and uh, laminate them so they can actually keep them on site uh, for, for whoever's coming along site on, on the property to show them where to go basically. So it's great for us as well to identify um, where's what out there. So um, on this particular place uh, is the road in from um, uh, the external road, some houses and sheds around this area. Uh, this particular spot here is some old silk sorghum. Uh, so last time we were here, we found the pigs actually camping and uh, eating that old silk sorghum. Obviously we've got a creek system uh, running along here. Uh, and so we've got some red country, which is higher ground. The pigs tend to go up into that red country uh, when it's wet. Uh, they don't like to camp uh, generally in the wet, but they will come out into, um, into some of this lower country. Uh, you probably can't see it that well, but there is some lower swampy country um, on this property as well. So uh, they will hang out around there in the hot days and um, find a little tree to hang out in under. Um, or some long grass uh, around that uh, swampy country. So I'm heading out now. I'm back in my uh, happy place, the uh, second most happiest place in the world out hunting. Uh, obviously Deb not here, so not in the uh, first happiest place. But uh, yeah, out here to have a look around a, a, a friend's property and see what we can find um, uh, in relation to the pigs and the damage they're making. So I'm having a bit of explore today and I've got some uh, some mates coming out uh, tomorrow and uh, to, to see if we can um, grab a few feral animals um, and or destroy a few feral animals for these uh, farmers because they've, they've planted oats out here and um, yeah, it's getting uh, significantly, significantly damaged uh, by the feral pigs. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, the next few days. Uh, this is one particular property we're going on. Uh, we've got three properties we've been called out to. Um, and uh, yeah, let's hope you enjoy some action. So see you soon. All right, guys, um, out here for the first run of the day. A lot of long grass around because they've had a bit of rain, which is great. Um, but there's this woody type of bush here behind me. Perfect spot for uh, pigs to camp up in. So. Uh, uh, last time we came here, and I've identified this on that A1 plan that I showed you, that coloured aerial imagery, a little bit of a swamp through here, so there's no crop through here. There's crop uh, out this other side here. But yeah, this is a perfect spot for um, pigs underneath it, and plenty, plenty of cover, um, sort of out of the sun and out of the wind and whatnot. So um, yeah, let's go and uh, have a poke through this stuff and um, see what we can find, eh? Right, typical me. I uh, forgot to press the GoPro button, but uh, just chase this uh, good little boar across the paddock uh, in that line back there. I've got a heap out of that uh, long grass and got this fella. So, uh, again, typically uh, nervous, lots of shots, uh, lots of misses. Anyway, good start to the day. We've got about three pigs just then, so um, anyway, back we go, see if we can find some more. <laughs> 